Our parliaments um, in the world largely are centers of political life. And in those countries, therefore, for them to do their work effectively, they need to be representative, truly representative of the population, so that they are inclusive, they are reflective of uh, the interests of the people. Politics are about people and their lives. I'm um, ethnically Cook Island and a New Zealand Member of Parliament. I have a relationship with a couple of women parliamentarians in the Cook Island House of Parliament and as new Members of Parliament we've often had discussions about the things that we um, would like to do um, to support each other through our parliamentary career. I want to touch upon three things, the outcomes of Nairobi, uh, the process that took place in Nairobi during the Ministerial Conference and the sort of like next step post Nairobi. Every Ministerial Conference of the WTO adopts a declaration. Ministers adopt that by consensus and those declarations are normally a mix of confirmation of the path people are on, a certain number of procedural decisions as well as you know more substantial issues that came out of negotiations either during the conference or in the preparations before it. Members of the Caribbean community or CARICOM have participated in several ways in the WTO dispute settlement mechanism. Um, in most cases CARICOM countries have participated as third parties in disputes initiated by other WTO members in which they had a substantial interest. Um, in a few cases, um, CARICOM countries have also participated as a complainant in one case and in a couple of other cases also they have had to respond to um, allegations that their measures um, were not consistent with WTO rules. When countries trade with each other, it's only natural that they have trade disputes with each other. However, the World Trade Organization provides a system, a multi uh, multilaterally agreed set of rules to settle these disputes and reduce trade tensions. In the history of WTO, um, in the past 20 years, we have heard over 500 disputes. And uh, in comparison, um, the International Court of Justice, for example, uh, has heard only 60 um, disputes uh, in its 70 years of history. So in a way it shows how um, productive, how prolific the WTO's dispute settlement system. Mm -hmm.